Are aerospace and defense companies open to using cloud software? We surveyed over 250 manufacturers and further analyzed about 70 of those that serve the aerospace and defense industries to get some clarity. Hi, my name's Jim Brown, president of Tech Clarity, where we make the business value of technology clear. Today, what I'd like to talk to you about are the results of our survey on the adoption of cloud software in the A&D industry. What we found is of aerospace and defense companies, about half of them are turning to the cloud for some of their solutions. Um, some favor the cloud and actually would choose that first, uh, while a few more of them would say that uh, they're really open to the cloud, but they're going to choose the most capable system that's going to uh, really support their business and give them the business benefits that they need. So why is that happening? Well, first of all, time to value. They're able to get the solution implemented much faster without having to worry about uh, implementing software or loading up uh, or, or provisioning hardware. Um, but they're also getting reduced cost. Uh, they report that they have less demand on their internal IT resources. Uh, and they're also able to scale up and down their user count more, uh, more agilely uh, because, uh, because of the software licensing with the cloud. And that really helps them as programs uh, roll on and roll off. But we also saw some, uh, some more benefits um, that are a little less generic. We saw that uh, Andy companies were saying that it was much easier for them to support global locations. They said that it was easier with the cloud uh, to work anytime, anywhere, and to collaborate with others. And they even said that it's easier to access data. So, with all of those, I think those are extremely important. Um, another that they mentioned is the, uh, that they saw value in being able to access add-on services, value-added services in the context of their work beyond the software that they were working on. Now, of course, they mentioned challenges, and security is one that we're all very, very much aware of in the A&D industry and, uh, and in the IT industry in general. Um, and not surprisingly, that was the number one concern that was reported. But what we saw as we asked companies whether they were implementing standards and, uh, and audits for their cloud deployments, we saw that 50% fewer companies that had those best practices in place um, saw security as a significant risk in their business. Now, the majority of them, even with those standards and audits, saw it as a concern, but they're going to be a concern really with any deployment option. So audits and standards can really help to mitigate a lot of the risk of, uh, of sol cloud solutions um, for the airspace and defense industry as well as others. We also decided to turn beyond the cloud and look specifically at product innovation platforms or PLM solutions and engineering software and uh, asked about what elements of that companies were using in the cloud. So what we found is that it's no longer if A&D companies are using product innovation software in the cloud, they are. Uh, what we found is that about a quarter of them are using it uh, for some elements of the product innovation platform and that another quarter, so up to a total of a half, are saying that they're pursuing it. So it's happening at this point. Now saying that, 41% of companies said, no, we're not going to use cloud software for product innovation. So well, why is that? We're not 100% sure from the survey, but we have some ideas. One is the security concern, and clearly that is one, although, as we mentioned, um, that risk can be mitigated um, very much and taken down from a significant risk to a concern by using standards and audits, best practices. Uh, we also thought that perhaps uh, suppliers would be concerned that their OEMs wouldn't accept it, um, and obviously they have to work with multiple OEMs. Uh, we actually found that OEMs were more open to using cloud software than their suppliers. One of the other things, though, we think may have a big impact on it is over th uh, three quarters of the companies that we talked to, uh, A&D companies, said they were willing to trade off either very little or no functionality for the benefits available from the cloud. So they clearly are taking a solution-first approach as opposed to a cloud-first approach. They need the right solutions to support their business and then they are open to running that on the cloud. So because of that, obviously there's been some, uh, some challenges in the industry for finding the right solution in the cloud. But a lot of that's changed. The constraints are starting to change because there are a lot more different solutions now available in the cloud. There are different options. 
So we think it's time for A&D companies to take a fresh look at product innovation platforms in the cloud and really give it some consideration. Sites from our sponsor, Desso Systems.